and gentlemen now to the blue corner he taped the scale at 112 pounds he had had 48 49 bout he's won 31 18 by way lost 18 22 by way of knockout ladies and gentlemen from the blue corner he's known as the pretty boy i introduce to you Isaac Quay. Ladies and gentlemen, across the ring to the red corner. He also taped the scale at 11.10 pounds. He had had five fights, one all five, four by way of knockout. Ladies and gentlemen, he is currently nominated for the Swag Awards Professional Boxer of the Year. Ladies and gentlemen, from the Seaview Boxing Club, he is known in the ring as the Golden Boy. I introduce, I introduce to you, Mohammed Aite. Ladies and gentlemen, are you ready? Are you ready? Let's get ready to rumble! Well, we see the beginning of the last but one fight of the night, and it's between Isaac Kui and Muhammad Aiti. And this is for the vacant National Flyweight Championship. The two, the two boxers are well versed in the game. They, they are very, very much experienced. They are very, very much experienced. And uh, we are sweating a very good fight. Now, uh, Mo, uh, Mohammed. Well, Mohamed Aide have been nominated for the uh, Swag Award for in the boxing field, and uh, we are expecting that uh, he wouldn't let the nation down in this fight today. His, his opponent is also one boxer who has been out of the country for, on several occasions for fights. Who also well experienced, and so in between the two of them, we are expecting a very, very good fight. This fight is going to travel 12 rounds, so let's see how it pans out, ladies and gentlemen. Viewers, you are welcome to the Bukum Boxing Arena, Gamashi Hall, and enjoy yourself. Indeed, it's friendly hostilities that has begun, and these two pugilists have a lot to give us, and so we are in for something greater. Isaac Ayete and Joseph Akainete. Remember the gentleman in the green trunks? Isaac has been nominated by the Sports Writers Association of Ghana. And so, he needs to prove himself that indeed he is the young boxer of the year. Facing an experienced chap. Mohamed Ayete. Isaac Kui. Let's see what will be happening in round two. Let's see how the two boxes will be faring. Mohammed 
IIT in the green, yellow, and black trunks. Again, the boxers sizing each other. Trying to see if indeed it looks like Mohammed is the aggressor. And Isaac Way, cool and composed. See how their fights will travel to a distance. And a good punch there from Mohammed. Mohamed again on the offensive. This young boxer. Mohamed still trying to find his way. Whilst Isaac Way tries to work on the body. It's a 12 round contest for the vacant national flyweight championship. One of them will emerge the new champion. One of them will emerge the champion. One of them will emerge the champion. You can start sending in your predictions. Saved by the bell. You can start sending your predictions now. Who really controls the ring? Is it Mohamed Ayete or Isaac Kwe? Remember, Isaac Quay is in the blue and white trunks. There is lots to prove here by the two boxes. At stake here is the national title. Good exchanges. Good exchanges. Referee says it was a slip. And Isaac Quay is in trouble. 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 Fight continues.
Let's see what the boxers bring on board. Mohamed Ayete in the green and black trunks facing the experience Isaac Ayete Isaac Quay Isaac is on the offensive Isaac is on the offensive Hostilities continue here. Who really is the ring general? Who is the ring general? Among the two pugilists, who is the craftiest? Mohamed Ayete. Mohamed Ayete. Boxes are still trying to display what they have up their sleeves. fifth round let's see what the boxes have again in terms of the energy it's been energy sapping exchanges first one Steve Jobs there from Mohammed another Steve Jobs there from Isaac And it's still the exchanges on here at the Kamashi Hall. This is one of the headliners of the Jamestown Fight Night Road to Glory Part 2, sanctioned by the Ghana Boxing Authority, powered by GTV Sports Plus. The events put together by Wimbase Boxing Promotions. And a 
Good shots there. Good shots there. Good shots there. Good shots there. there. More of the body shots. More of the body shots. More of the body shots there. And it is Mohammed who seems to be in control. Who seems to be in control. It seems Isaac Way is at the receiving end. Isaac Way is at the receiving end. Another beautiful display. Let's see what again these two pugilists have for the team in France here at the Gamashi Hall here. They are fighting for the vacant national fair flyweight championship. And it's still Mohammed who is controlling the affairs in the ring. Mohammed is controlling affairs in the ring. Mohammed is controlling affairs in the ring. And they keep on trading their punches. They keep on trading their punches. And they still exchange their punches.
the seven. And it's still the flurry of punches that is being traded here in this in this round, and it's like Isaac Quay is at the receiving end. Isaac Quay is finding it difficult to really take control over the fight. It's the young pugilist that seems to be the dictator, the aggressor of the two but do they have the energy to go all the length this 12 rounds do they have that energy they are battling for the vacant national flyweight title and there is a temporary hold up here Tempra hold up here. And they still go at each other again. They still go at each other again. Still battling it out. Will Isaac Quay stand the test of time? Will Isaac Quay still stand it? Will Isaac Quay? Will Isaac Quay? And his gum is out. What happens? Is it tightness or it is a punch that will remove the gum from your mouth? Uh, more times it's a deliberate. Uh, you know, they do it deliberately just to buy time to t uh, rest a bit before the fight continues. Because the moment you spit out the gum, it will have to be washed, you have to be all this time you'll be resting, you know. So, most times it's deliberate. Indeed, let's see what the, the next quarter has for them. What really will be the fate of the two boxes now? It's indeed. A flurry of exchanges here. It's a give and take. It's a give and take affair now. It's a give and take affair now. It's a give and take affair now. Referee wants again. It's a give and take now. It's the eighth round. We're going for a 12 round contest. We are now in the eighth round. Do these pugilists have what it takes to carry on? Do they have the energy in the legs to carry on? Do they have enough stored in their tank to carry on? Let's see what the minutes bring.
Still battling it out. A good body shot there from Isaac Quay. It looks like Mohammed is more conditioned than Isaac. But let's see. This is the noble art of self-defense boxing. Indeed, they are giving off their best. Let's see how they finish in the round. And the bell comes to the other point from uh, Mohamed Aite. Now, fight continues right in the center of the ring. Aite got cautioned again for hitting be behind the head. Goes on. Jab. Series of jabs from Isaac Kui. But he's still being pursued by Mohamed Aite. So left and right combinations from uh, Mohamed. Series of left and right, flurry of punches, exchange of punches from the two boxers, while uh, Isaac Kwe has been pinned to the ropes. He cannot escape. And uh, receiving more punches, left and right, left and right from Mohamed Aite. Fight still continues with the hot exchanges in the new track corner. Isaac Way still locked up in the corner. And now the boxers appear tired. They appear tired and the exchanges still continue. Isaac Quay happens to be a veteran fighter. That's why he has been able to stand up to this uh, this long. A change of punches still continue at the new track corner. Left and right, left and right from both bosses. And referee goes in to separate the two after a clinch. Brings them to the center of the ring. But still, they go back to the neutral corner once again. Left and right, left and right from Mohamed Aiti. More punches from Mohamed Aiti. Quick response from Isaac Kui. Fight still continues. Left and right again from Mohamed Aiti. A quick response. And there goes the bell for the end of the round.
It's the tenth round, and uh, we are going in for the twelfth round. It's a twelfth round contest. We are in the tenth round. Do the these pugilists have that energy? I always keep asking. Are they well conditioned enough? Who really will go in for it? Because it seems Isaac Way, the experienced one, is receiving lots of punishment, but still very, very confident of really landing a knockout. He said he has enough up, up his sleeve that he can unleash a thunderbolt. He can unleash this firepower that will send Mohammed down until they still fight. They're still searching for who will come out as tops. Who will be the new national flyweight champion. They are battling for the national title. The two pugilists are battling. They have one eye set on the new titles that were introduced by the GBA. They want to make history. The two of them want to make history. The two pugilists want to make history by winning the vacant title. Mohamed Haiti looks the aggressor. Looks the aggressor. But trust Isaac Quay to add experience to it. Isaac Quay. Isaac Quay still not giving up. He's still not giving up, Isaac Quay. Isaac still believes that he has this firepower that he can punch. The two still battling it out. Isaac Quay coming in strongly. Fans are sitting on tenter hooks, hoping for a knockout. Fans of Ayete can't sit. They are worried. Why the boxer cannot unleash a flurry of punches to send his opponent to the canvas? Mohamed Aite has tried, but Isaac Quay is still. We are left in the last round to see. You get Clyde, you get Clyde, you get Aboru, you get Aboru, you get Chance, go you go visit the top of Dango I beg you, you get lawyer, you get lawyer. They hug themselves. Although they are not very friendly, they hug themselves and begin the fight, congratulating themselves for having taken the fight round from round one to the 12th and final round. Fight continues. A jab from Isaac Quay. Another jab. Another jab, still chasing his opponent. Isaac Quay becoming more aggressive, getting to the end of the fight, rather. Oh. A left hook that misses the target from Isaac Quay, but he's still chasing his opponent. His more youthful opponent. Round, round the ring. A right hook from Isaac Quay. A counter punch from uh, Mohamed Aichi. Fast to continues. 
with Isaac Quay chasing a small youthful opponent. Two right punches, that means the target from Isaac Quay. A jab from Isaac Quay. Another jab. Oh, a punch that misses the target from Isaac Quay. Now, we have a series of jabs from uh, Mohammed IT. But he's still being chased around the ring by Isaac Quay. Fight continues in that fashion. Counter punches from uh, Mohamed IT and the bosses will go into a clinch. Hmm. Left and right from Isaac Way. Counter punches from Mohamed Haiti. A jab from Haiti. Another jab. And a hook from, from Isaac Kwe. That's 10 seconds more to the end of the fight. And oh, there goes the end of the fight. The end of the round and the end of the fight. Fight has been quite impressive. By a unanimous point decision, ladies and gentlemen, and the new, still undefeated, Golden Star, Mohammed Aite. <laughs> So, me and my team, this is what we are looking up to. And I know this, that uh, I'm ready for everyone because this is what we are looking for and this is what we are expecting. And I know that time is right. I'm not afraid of any Ghanaian boxer. I'm ready to face the world. So now that you have the national title, what is the next step for you? I'm ready for everyone. I'm looking up to face the international. I'm not ready for any Ghanaian boxer to waste my time. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. He has said it. The new national flyweight champion have said it. He says he's going, he's moving on. He's not waiting for anybody. Ladies and gentlemen,